Hydra Error 5 and Killing Floor 3. 1. Clear Game Profile Cache, PC and Console. On PC, navigate to, to Navigate to Documents, My Games, Killing Floor 3. Back up your save folder, then delete the cache config files. Restart the game. It will recreate fresh profile cache data. On Xbox PS5, go to System Settings, Storage, Clear Cache, Game Reserved Space. Restart console and relaunch the game. 2. Force a fresh session with Offline Online Switch. Start Killing Floor 3 in Offline Mode. Play a quick solo game, Wave 1 to 2. Exit to Main Menu, then switch back to Online Mode. This forces the game to resync your profile with servers, which often clears Hydra errors. Harsher 3. Resync Cloud Save, Steam. Right-click Killing Floor 3 Properties General Disable Steam Cloud. Launch the game once, quit, then re-enable Steam Cloud. This resyncs your profile and fixes Hydra mismatches. Console. Sign out of your account and back in. Allow Cloud Save Sync to finish fully before launching the game. Hacker 4. Switch Data Center Region. Go to Settings, Network, Server Region. Manually change to a different region, e.g. NA, EU, or Asia. Restart the game. Many players reported Hydra 5 only occurs on specific server clusters. 5. Flush session tokens. Log out completely from your Steam, Xbox, PSN account. Restart device and log back in. Launch KF3 again. This refreshes your online session token that Hydra relies on. 6. Force port forwarding. PC console. Open router settings. Forward KF3 required ports. TCP UDP 7777 T787 2715 to 270 2560 Save and Restart Router. Hydra errors often happen because sessions can't handshake correctly when port starts are blocked. Ash, ash, ash. 7. Reinstall anti cheat game dependencies, PC only. Go to Killing Floor 3 Binaries Win64 Easy Anti Cheat. Run EAC Installer Repair. Reinstall Visual C Redistributables 2015 T2022 from Microsoft. Restart and relaunch the game. After doing this advanced fix list, Hydra Error 5 should be gone. If not, it's 100% server-side, meaning you'll have to wait for Tripwire to patch.